So apparently this 13 year old YouTuber has an ASMR channel and she's quitting YouTube and her mom's pretty upset about it because YouTube keeps taking her videos down. This is something that we definitely need to talk about. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a look at what's going on in the YouTube community and try to see what lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And if you haven't yet, make sure you're following me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul. All right, so this is a story that has popped up a couple times today and I just now finally had a chance to read the article and oh my god. So anyways, um, I will be citing a BuzzFeed article in this, but uh, Mac, Life with Mac, her channel, she's a 13 year old YouTuber. She has 1.5 million subscribers and she is an ASMR channel, all right? And there is a story about her leaving YouTube because her videos keep getting taken down. So where do I start? Where do I start with this? Okay, so first, let's discuss what ASMR is. Now, ASMR, I have nothing against it, okay? Like, it's not something that's for me. Um, different people respond to it different ways. I, I love keeping up with the news as they do more studies about ASMR, but those of you who don't know what ASMR is, it is basically, you know, um, people who, they try to stimulate different, uh, sensory activity within your brain and they'll do different noises some people like tapping or scratching or whispering whatever and it can be calming and soothing and help you fall asleep um i'm interested in the mental health aspect of it like for some people it soothes their anxiety and all that kind of stuff so when this first kind of hit the youtube scene and started blowing up a lot of people were using it to go to sleep now it wasn't long it wasn't long until this became an extremely extremely sexualized genre, all right? Like, I really learned more about the ASMR scene from, I believe, Elvis the Alien. And I think he did like two videos on ASMR. I'm like, there is some freaky stuff out there, all right? When men try ASMR, it gets a whole lot more interesting. I mean, here's a video named ASMR Cannibal. So remember earlier when I said you had to be attractive to get popular doing ASMR? Well, I guess throw that out the window. What a weird fucking video. What is he doing? And then he starts shoving sh to the camera. Like, is that supposed to make the video better? But it is very sexualized. Like, I don't know if you've seen it. I'll try to put a, uh, a picture up if I can. But like, they have like the microphones where there's like uh, uh, an ear and then it'll be like a person like whispering in it and like kissing it and licking it. I mean, here we got this pretty good looking girl. She's got that really fancy ASMR mic, you know, with the ears on it and everything. So you can really put yourself in the moment, right? It really helps you imagine that this girl is sucking on your ears. It is very sexualized. And listen, listen to me. Like, whatever you do, do your thing, baby girl. Whatever gets you going, I applaud you. But the reality is, is that there's two reasons people go to ASMR. One, is to like fall asleep or calm their anxiety. And the second one is to get their damn rocks off, all right? So we need to understand that when talking about how this 13 year old young woman is running an ASMR channel and why YouTube keeps taking her videos down, all right? So anyways, as I was about to do some research for this video, I was like, I've never heard of this channel. I don't follow ASMR YouTubers. But I start typing in the YouTube search bar, Life with Mac. Now, if you notice, the very first recommendation is role play, all right? So in some ASMR videos, what people will do is they will role play a character, okay? But when you combine a 13-year-old girl with role playing in ASMR, 
it's not too good, okay? Like, I think the first one that popped up, like, just when I typed in Life with a Mac, Life with Mac, one of the first videos that popped up was, like, her, like, dressed in, like, a police officer outfit. And I'm like, okay, this, this seems like it could be a problem. So anyways, the title of this video, How Life with Mac is the D Danny Cohn of the ASMR community. So in this BuzzFeed article, um, Mac's mom said this, I don't need YouTube to parent my child or protect my child for me. They are not the government. Nicole Lacey, McKenna's mom, who manages her channel, told BuzzFeed News, punish the pedos and punish the online cyber bullies, not the creator. Like, as a parent, as a parent, I sit there and I read that and I, I am just personally kind of disgusted by that. Like, I could not imagine putting my child on this platform, running it, and, and prioritizing the money or the fame over my child's like safety and knowing what people are doing. Like, she is very aware. She is very aware that there are some disgusting people out there who are sexualizing this, all right? And like, that, that is problematic. Like, don't get me wrong. I understand the root of what she's trying to say. But something I always try to think about and I try to teach all of you is like, there's, there's the world that we wish we lived in and then there's the world that we actually live in, right? Like, so for example, for example, if we go based off of what she's saying, like in the perfect world, we should never have to lock our doors, all right? We need to look at the world that we actually live in. And the reality is when it comes to ASMR and people who watch ASMR, it is very sexualized. And what what is an issue for me is when I look at somebody like McKenna's mom or Danny Cohn's mom, like, I feel like they know, and they know it's gonna get more clicks and more views, which equals more money and more uh, subscribers and all these other things. And that is the part that I have a problem with. That is where the issue is. Like, something that I will always remind you of is we have seen so many child stars and how they turn into these screwed up adults, right? Like chasing all of these things as a kid. And then when you combine the fact that like, they're being sexualized in this nature, like they're going to have a very, very rough adulthood ahead of them. So anyways, like, I don't know. It's, it's a tricky situation for YouTube, especially just because earlier this year, um, they had problems with you know, minors and everything on the platform and YouTube's been trying to crack down and they've been trying to like disable comments and all these other things. Like, I don't even wanna know what the comments on this young girl's videos are like, all right? But YouTube is cracking down and like the thing is, is that, I don't know, if, if parents aren't going to try to protect their child, like the platform is trying to protect these children. You know what I mean? I kind of look at it as, I don't know, even like a school. Like never, not every child who goes to school is going to come from a good family. But while that child is at school, it is the school's responsibility to protect that child. Because let me put this into your mind real quick. If something were to happen to this woman's daughter, McKenna, all right, who do you think she would blame? Do you think she would blame the person? Or do you think she would go after this multi-billion dollar corporation, which is Google and YouTube? You see what I mean? So I don't know, I, I personally agree with YouTube's decision on this, um, but they're not even like, they, they haven't like taken down her channel or anything, but she is a very large creator, so she's on their radar. And when they see something that is somewhat, you know, iffy and sexualized, then they're acting on it. You know what I mean? So anyways, I would love to know your thoughts on this subject. Like, it is a weird, weird, weird situation, but in my personal opinion, I don't know. I'm glad YouTube is doing their thing to try to protect 
this young girl, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to help support what I'm doing here, get involved in our monthly Q&A and some other perks and benefits, you can click or tap on that Patreon icon right there. All right, thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.